So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Stan store. Now our account has been officially created and we're actually on the very first page once your account has been created. And if you're somebody who's yet not gone through the process of signing up for an account, in the show notes down below, we actually have videos on showing you the questions step-by-step -step that you will ask you, as well as a link to go ahead and sign up and getting a two week free trial. Now that link does help support us out so we can actually make more free content just like this for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, they do have a launch checklist right over here. Kind of helps the process a little bit. I do recommend adding a profile photo, whether it's yourself or your brand, if you have a social media brand, we're gonna go ahead and add that in here real quick by clicking on on the ad profile photo. Now, once we uploaded the photo, it will ask us to either confirm or re-upload if the image does not look good. If that looks good for you, let's go ahead and click on confirm. Now that we've added our profile, we're gonna go ahead and click on next step. So now next up here is going to be adding our socials. So we can go ahead and click here to add our links. We could do any kind of description here, keeping it under 80 characters, and then we can go ahead and add some socials. It does show Instagram and TikTok first and foremost, but you can click the little down arrow to show like your email, Facebook, YouTube, or any other website you wanna go to, such as your own website. So for ours here, we're gonna go ahead and add in our YouTube URL, and then we're also gonna go ahead and plug in our email. Now, once you've done that, you can just go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom here and click on save, keeping in mind that you can add additional or remove socials later. So nothing that is finite here for us. We get to continue to do that. And now we're going to go ahead and click on next step here for us. And we're going to go ahead and set up our direct deposit. This is effectively saying any money that we earn from the stand store, where is this going to go? So similar to like a paycheck. If you don't have that information with you on hand, you can always skip this and do it at a later date. But for example here today, let's go ahead and show you how to set up direct deposit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on set up direct deposit. It is going to open up a new window for us right over here. And it is letting us know that we are going to be connecting with a Stripe account for payment processing. Now, if by chance you do not have a Stripe account, no worries, we got you covered here. We actually have a video to show you step-by-step -step on opening up a brand new Stripe account that will be in the show description down below. Now from here, it is only showing us the option to create a Stan Stripe account. But if you already have a Stripe account, we're gonna also be clicking this same button. Now, as you can see here, it is gonna ask if you by chance already have a Stripe account, you can just use that same email which is going to be the case for us. Again, if you don't have a Stripe account and want to see the step-by-step -step process, that video will be in the show notes description below. So for us, we're going to go ahead and keep the email that is showing up here for us and click on submit so we can connect our Stripe account to Stan. Now for us, it is going to ask for a verification code. This is going to be from the phone number we have on file. Um, if that's not the case, you do need to log back into your Stripe account to have that information sent properly. All right, so the next thing is gonna show up here is gonna be asking about the business here for us. Now, even with us reconnecting our Stripe account to Sint, it is going to be asking these questions over here. We actually bumped out and it did require us to finish this. So it's gonna ask us what type of business we have, whether it's an indiv individual or a company, and then whether it's a sole proprietor or any of these additional options. So choose the ones that work best for you and click on continue. And then here it's gonna ask for the legal business name, the EIN, as well as the business address. You're gonna fill that out and then click on continue. Again, keeping in mind, if this is not something you wanna do at the moment, you can always hit skip and follow up in a future episode to go ahead and have all this information filled out. So next up here, it is going to ask for your personal information, such as your legal name, date of birth, as well as your home address. And then here towards the bottom, it's gonna ask for your phone number and your social security number. This is to verify your identity to be able to go through this entire process. So once all this is filled out, we'll go ahead and click on continue. Now next up here, it's going to ask where you want your payouts to go. It's gonna have some of the major banks here, but you can also search for your bank as well, or you can go ahead and enter your bank details in it manually, which will take a little extra time. So for us, we're gonna go ahead and search for our bank. Once we found our bank, we clicked on it and it took us to this page here to go ahead and connect these two as quickly as possible. Now we're currently using a Novo account to have all of our money go into. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that to go ahead and log in. So we're gonna click on continue. So from here, it does have us log in through our email and password. These are safe connections to do so. Just something to keep in mind, this will be your actual login for your bank to go ahead and quickly connect instantly. So most banks should have a two-factor authentication. If yours does, you're gonna go ahead and plug in your code and click on confirm. Now here it's gonna ask to be able to share your information with Stripe. We're gonna go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it's gonna go ahead and pull up all the accounts you might have with that particular bank and you can choose which account you want it to connect to. So you might have several checking or some savings and you want it to go into a particular one. Choose the one that works for you and click on connect account. And from here, it's doing one last check-in. So we're gonna toss in one more code. 
And like that, we have our account fully connected here. We're gonna go ahead and click on done. And then from here, it's just gonna let us choose one more time the account that we are transferring into and clicking continue. Now, next up here, it is going to ask for some public details for customers and we will need to put in a phone number. I actually tried to hit continue to see if it just lets us go through. And if you're anything like me and maybe don't wanna put in your personal phone number, you can either do uh, a Google Voice, which is actually what I have to be able to get an additional phone number that is not necessarily attached to my phone directly. Um, or if you actually do have a customer support phone number, you can go ahead and plug that in. And we're gonna click continue. And then lastly here, it is going to have a review and submit. So just double check everything looks good. There is an edit button in every section to just make sure if you need to change anything. Or we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. And here at the bottom, we can go ahead and click agree and submit. All right, and now we have our direct deposit fully set up. It might have taken a little bit of extra time, but that was well worth it as now money will go directly into our account. We can click on next step. All right, and here is probably the most fun part when it comes to setting up your stand store. We're gonna go ahead and create our first product here. So we can go ahead and click on create your product. Now, if by any chance you did skip this part right over here, you can always go to my store and get to the same place. But from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on create your product. Now here in the create your product section, there are a ton of different options to be able to choose from. As you can see over here, you are gonna have options for like collecting emails, coaching calls, e-courses, webinars, all these different uh, options that you can go ahead and choose uh, to click on. And then what's really nice is if you wanna add more, you can obviously do that after this as well. So for our example here today, we're gonna go ahead and do a digital product. These are great for PDFs, templates, exclusive content, eBooks, etc. So let's go ahead and click on this. And that is gonna take us to our product setup page. And this is gonna be the fun part, honestly, where we're gonna actually get to choose some different styles. You can see on the right-hand side how things are changing in real time for us. So we get to see all the different options we want. And once you create this product, you can always come back in here and change this up as well. So no fear on having one way to do this and it be stuck forever. So we're gonna do the call out section here. We like this, kind of shows a little image, the price, and then the download now option. And here in the next section here, it's gonna to be to select an item, or sorry, an image. If you like the image they already give you, keep that. But if not, go ahead and choose an image that works best for your product. All right, so for us, we have a dividend income tracker that we went ahead and uploaded the image from. And then over here in the next section, this is gonna be adding text. It's gonna let us know to put a title. So for us, we're gonna put dividend income tracker right over here for us. And then any subtitle that you might wanna have, and you can see where it's gonna show up right over here on the actual page. So over here, you can actually have it say, we will deliver this file right to your inbox, and then you can have it as the download now button. All right, so if everything looks good here for you, we're gonna go ahead and click on next. You could also save this as a draft, just to keep in mind. So we're gonna go click next here for us, and this is gonna take us to our checkout page. Now again, we're gonna have an image here that we can utilize if we wanted to, and then we can go ahead and fill out a description. So for us, let's go ahead and add an additional image to that, which can be the same image as before, or it could be a completely different one. Now, if you click on choose image, it actually will give you some images that you can go ahead and choose from here for you. You can also keyword uh, search for different items or you can just upload your own. All right, so we uploaded ours right there. So from here, you can go ahead and change your description title. So we just deleted everything else and said, get my template now. You, again, you can choose different wording if you wanted to. You could even add the things that you wanted right here. And then in the body description, you can go ahead and plug in information that might be important to the audience member. They have a nice setup here that has three bullet points, which is always a great means to help understand what your product delivers for them. And it also has the AI option to kind of help you manage a little bit of the wording. If you're not exactly sure how to write it all, you can start off and then have them help you out. You can also see here, you can add in links as well as images and then even videos if you needed to as well. Short and simple usually does the trick really well, but of course, however you see fit best, Go with that. So from here, I went ahead and filled out my information for my product over here. You can see we focus on dividend income for our example for this particular product. Change the bottom title here for ready to then have the person plug in their information. Now the next section here is to be able to set your price so you can actually put in whatever price you'd like. And if you'd like to do a discount, which is really nice, you can actually have this automatically go in so people can see that striked out price. And you can again, always come in and change this later. Now, if you don't want any discount, just have that toggled off. But for the most part, having a discount does give a really nice incentive for people to purchase right away. And then the fourth section here is to collect information. The 
name and email are going to be automatic. And then you'll also have some fields that you can go ahead and click the little eye icon on here to pop up. And then you can have it toggled on or off for that requirement. And then you're also going to have the add field section. So there are things like text, multiple choice, drop down, and checkbox that you can also add in there as well. And then next up here is going to be the big part of this, which is going to be actually uploading that digital product here for us. So we can go ahead and click on the upload here for us, or you can redirect with a URL for that person that you're wanting to send it to. So we're gonna go ahead and click over here on upload and put in the file. And from there, you can see we went ahead and downloaded the tracker here for us, and we can also delete it if needed to, and also upload multiple. So if you're giving multiple items in this purchase, you can add them in as well. And once that looks good, we can go ahead and click on publish. Again, you can also look here on the right-hand side how it's gonna look like for the individual to see how it's gonna purchase for them when it goes through the step-by-step -step process. All right, let's click on publish here for us. And just like that, our first product is now available for people to purchase with that link. And then of course, if we wanted to, we can actually get a direct link for that product in particular and not the entire stand store. And from here, you can of course start adding additional products as well, but then there are other sections here that you can start working on such as your landing pages and you can even edit your overall stand design here for you. So let's take a quick peek at your editing section here. So you can actually see the different types of stand stores that are available for you. And then as you could see on the right hand side in real time, let me move the marker off here. You can see in real time how it's actually changing it for you. So you can actually see what that looks like and actually go ahead and choose. And you can even change the colors here on the left hand side, depending on how you would like it to look as an overall account. So now back here at the my store section here, we can go ahead and go to a landing page to be able to create a landing page for people to go ahead and see exclusive products using a private landing page. This is not the same as your storefront, so something to keep in mind. You can click on create and just kind of show you the different setups here. So you can actually have a complete homepage just for your digital products, kind of like we just did, but on its own page. Same thing with a course, coaching calls, or webinars as well. So again, filling out very similar things with your image, your description, as well as your set price, your collecting of the information, and your product that you're going to be purchasing. So both of these options are going to work well, whether it's for its own page or on your stand store. This one also has additional options like adding reviews, email flows, which allows people to get additional emails beyond their original sign up and then any order bumps you might want with that. So let's go ahead and give you an idea of what this all looks like. So I'm going to leave everything here as just the template that it is. And then I'm going to upload the one product so we can go ahead and show you what it looks like published. So I uploaded the template over here and we're going to click on publish here for us. And now we have an individual landing page for our one product. So if we wanted to, we actually have the link up here at the very top as our example. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that and show you what that looks like on its own page. So this is what the personal landing page would be like for its own individual products. So it's not necessarily that link in bio. So it's going to have a much larger footprint when it comes to its own individual section and everything looks really nice. Obviously it being still just a template fill in. Now here on the stand store, there are a few things we want to go over. There is of course on the left-hand side here, our homepage. This gives us our information for analytics, such as how many people visit your store, the revenue and any leads that you got with email emails. And then from here, we can go ahead and go to our income tab. This will show you your total income. You can cash out here. You can go to your settings to change how often you're getting cashed out. So that way you can see all of it at once. And then there's its own individual analytics page as well. Very similar to the homepage here as well, but you can see a little bit more detailed information like where people are coming from and where people are going. And then next up here is going to be your customer list. So this is going to be as you start selling products and collecting emails, you can actually start building out this list, which is going to be really helpful for the future if you want to promote new products to that list or inform them of new information that you want to share with them. Now the more tab over here gives you a couple of different things such as funnels, any referrals that you want to do with stand itself, as well as appointments, as well as email flow. So that way you can have automated email sent, which we'll do in a completely separate video. So you can learn step-by-step -step on doing those. So keep in track for that. And then there is going to be the settings page, which we'll click on right over here. And this is going to be where you can change any of your information, like your name, your password, as well as any of your billing information and payment information as well. There is also an integration tab, which we'll click on here. And this will allow you to integrate with things like Google Calendar, Zoom, and MailChimp, as well as any additional ones that will be coming here in the future to make things even easier for you as you're building out your store. Now, when it comes to the payments tab up here on the top right, you're going to see over here where you're going to have your Stripe management. And then you can also make sure you can collect tax if you are selling physical products, making sure you're doing that. You can also add in your PayPal as well as a terms and conditions when selling products as well. 
And then of course your email notifications over here on the right for yourself and also for your customers if you want people that are getting recurring payments to get notified about upcoming payments. And if you're anything like me and have multiple businesses on the bottom left hand side over here, you'll see your business name. If you go ahead and click on this, this will actually go ahead and give you the option to add additional accounts for all of your businesses. So you can have multiple different businesses all at once and switch between them without having to completely log in and out of the different accounts you might have. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you do not already have your stand store, go ahead and check out our link in the show notes down below. That does give you two weeks free using our link as well as helping support us out to make more free content just like this to support you. Now, speaking of free content, there's more to learn when it comes to running your small business and we got you covered. Check out our next video over here on screen.